Hi, I'm Holly Drayson talking about translation strategies in language documentation texts. Language documentation texts aim to be multi-purpose and multi-use and this means that they're often accompanied by annotation which includes transcription, glossing and translation. People who might want to use language documentation texts could be academics for further study or they could be commun communities who are interested in language revitalisation. Both groups are likely to contain members who do not speak or understand the, the source language, the endangered language, and this is why translation is so important. This study looks at different strategies that are used for translating texts in language documentation and aims to um, to consider how, how these strategies support the text for multi-purpose use. This study includes 50 texts from Ela and Paradisek, and the strategies can broadly be split into whether they are source language oriented, um, which would be word by word translation, or target language oriented, which would be like idiomatic free translation. Of the 50 texts surveyed, a large majority, 72%, uh, were translated with only a free idiomatic translation. That's a target language oriented strategy. 20% were translated with just a word by word translation. So that's a source language oriented strategy and 8% of texts had both. Now let's see an example of a target language oriented translation strategy. So here we have a free translation um, from the ELA archive. So on the right, you can see the source text and on the left, the target text. The target text appears as a paragraph um, and it's written in a very fluent idiomatic way. So if you understand English, you can gain the meaning of the text uh, very easily. However, it's almost impossible to isolate individual words. So if you want to know how to say a specific word in the source language, you won't be really very easily be able to find that from the translated text. On the other hand, here we have an example of a source-oriented oriented translation with a word-by-word -word calc. Um, in this case, it's very, very easy to isolate individual words and understand how to say or how to use a particular word. However, the idiomatic meaning of the translation is quite unclear. Therefore, it seems that at the moment, um, the, the translation practices that are currently being used are not really um, allowing text to be as multi-purpose and multi-use as they should be. Um, and for this to happen, it seems that the two types of translation, both source-oriented and target-oriented, are needed.